Hello and welcome back for day 332. Today we will be reading from Amos, chapters 7 through 9, the apocryphal book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 18, and 1 Peter, chapter 5. Amos, chapter 7. Thus hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and, behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth, and lo, it was the latter growth after the king's mowings, and it came to pass, that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. The Lord repented for this, it shall not be, saith the Lord. Thus hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and, behold, the Lord God called to contend by fire, and it devoured the great deep, and did eat up a part. Then said I, O Lord God, cease, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small? The Lord repented for this, this also shall not be, saith the Lord God. Thus he shewed me, and, behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people, Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah the priest of Bethel sent to Jeroboam king of Israel, saying, Amos hath conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos saith, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of their own land. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go, flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread, and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. Then answered Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was an herdman, and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people, Israel. Now therefore hear thou the word of the Lord, thou sayest, Prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Amos chapter 8 Thus hath the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold a basket of summer fruit. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A basket of summer fruit. Then said the Lord unto me, The end is come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the songs of the temple shall be howlings in that day, saith the Lord God. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. They shall cast them forth with silence. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail, saying, When will the new moon be gone, that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small, and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver, and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and sell the refuse of the wheat, Shall not the land tremble for this, and every one that mourn dwelleth therein? And it shall rise up wholly as a flood, and it shall be cast out, and drowned, as by the flood of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. And I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head, and I will make it as the morning of an only son, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, 
and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst, they that swear by the sin of Samaria, and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba liveth, even they shall fall, and never rise up again. Amos chapter 9 I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the posts may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleeth of them shall not flee away, and he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I bring them down. And though they hide themselves at the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And though they go into captivity before their enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them. And I will set mine eyes upon them for evil, and not for good. And the Lord God of hosts is he that toucheth the land, and it shall melt, and all that dwell therein shall mourn. And it shall rise up wholly like a flood, and shall be drowned, as by the flood of Egypt. It is he that buildeth his stories in the heaven, and hath founded his troop in the earth. He that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth, the Lord is his name. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, saith the Lord? Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from Kaphtor, and the Syrians from Kir? Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among the nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, The evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it, as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and of all the heathen, which are called by my name, saith the Lord, that doeth this. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt, and I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities, and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards, and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens, and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled up out of their land, which I have given them, saith the Lord thy God. The Apocryphal Book of Ecclesiasticus, Chapter 18 He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will, for he is the king of all, by his power dividing holy things, among them from profane. To whom hath he given power to declare his works, and who shall find out his noble acts, who shall number the strength of his majesty, and who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put unto them neither can the ground of them be found out. When a man hath done, then he beginneth, and when he leaveth off, then he shall be doubtful. What is man, and whereto serveth he? What is his good, and what is his evil? The number of a man's days at the most are an hundred years, as a drop of water unto the sea, and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand. So are a thousand years to the days of eternity. Therefore is God patient with them, and poureth forth his mercy upon them. He saw and perceived their end to be evil. Therefore he multiplied his compassion. The mercy of man is toward his neighbor, but the mercy of the Lord is upon all flesh. He reproveth, and nurtureth, and teacheth, and bringeth again, as a shepherd his flock. 
He hath mercy on them that receive discipline, and that diligently seek after his judgments. My son, blemish not thy good deeds, neither use uncomfortable words when thou givest anything. Shall not the dew assuage the heat, so is a word better than a gift. Lo, is not a word better than a gift, but both are with a gracious man. A fool will upbraid churlishly, any gift of the envious consumeth the eyes. Learn before thou speak, and use physic, or ever thou be sick. Before judgment examine thyself, and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy. Humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the time of sins shew repentance. Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, and defer not until death to be justified. Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempteth the Lord. Think upon the wrath that shall be at the end, and the time of vengeance, when he shall turn away his face. When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger, and when thou art rich, think about poverty and need. From the morning until the evening the time is changed, and all things are soon done before the Lord. A wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning he will beware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. Every man of understanding knoweth wisdom, and will give praise unto him that found her. They that were of understanding in sayings became also wise themselves, and poured forth exquisite parables. Go not after thy lusts, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. If thou givest thy soul the desires that please her, she will make thee a laughingstock to thine enemies that malign thee. Take not pleasure in much good cheer, neither be tied to the expense thereof. Be not made a beggar by banqueting upon borrowing, when thou hast nothing in thy purse, for thou shalt lie in wait for thine own life, and be talked on. 1 Peter chapter 5 The elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory, that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being ensamples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory, by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. By Siluanas, a faithful brother unto you, as I suppose, I have written briefly, exhorting, and testifying that this is the true grace of God, wherein ye stand. The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, and so doth Marcus my son. Greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. That concludes our reading for the day. May the Lord bless everyone listening with strength, health, and courage. Today and always.